What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA Saga. And uh, for today's video guys, I have uh, several quite important news. Uh, first of all, I will show you an update uh, on uh, uh, Scott Trott's uh, RICO lawsuit. Then I will continue with all the cases that we have on the table right now and I will show you how the elections of uh, US president uh, might help us uh, to uh, win this battle. And at the end of this video I will share my personal story. That is why guys please watch this video till the very end because it is very important for me personally. So, and let's start uh, with this news. John Xavier wrote to this tweet just several hours ago and uh, she said, Judge denies motion for limited expedited discovery, blue sheets, and motion for evidentiary hearing in Trot vs. Rubinstein at all case. Judge states, plaintiff has not shown a good cause for expedited discovery. Plaintiff cites no evidence for his conclusory allegations that defendants are intentionally destroying evidence or otherwise failing to preserve relevant material. And guys, I have to say that on the one hand, it is not the best decision, because uh, technically we lost this part uh, of uh, the lawsuit. But let me show you some uh, explanation from Scott Trott himself. He wrote this. Judge Rice ruled on my earlier motion for expedited limited discovery in my case, denying my request uh, for FINRA to uh, present uh, the MMTLP blue sheets under seal to US uh, District Court Vermont. Not uh, the end of the world, and uh, I'm uh, not going to appeal it uh, as the more important motions are on deck. And he added uh, two screenshots of this ruling, and uh, I have to say that, guys, uh, this, uh, uh, this ruling is written uh, in a way very difficult to understand language, and uh, I don't want to read it to you, because uh, if you want uh, and if you can understand uh, this uh, type of uh, English language, uh, please do it. But for me it is very difficult, because I am not a native English speaker, and it is quite obvious. But let me show you some details uh, from the comment section. Uh, ASEAN uh, PWR86 wrote this. How the courts justify that blue sheets data isn't needed? This is stupid. FINRA getting away with blocking this in 4 is absolutely despicable. We need a discovery to get the real share count. How can the judge not make an exception based uh, on all the evidence? And Scott responded to this. I understand your anger, but uh, look closely at the ruling. The judge says the discovery order hasn't been done yet. It's just a temporary ruling of one of my wildcard filings. We have more shirts at the blues. And uh, I have to say that yes, Scott uh, has a very complicated uh, lawsuit and uh, he filed a lot of... Uh, uh, amendments uh, to uh, this lawsuit and uh, we are waiting for the major update uh, and uh, it will definitely be a read of mandamus. I covered uh, uh, this uh, in uh, one of my previous videos and uh, definitely we have a lot of uh, work uh, to be done and we are waiting uh, for the next step from Scott. And guys, take a look right here. Uh, Steph also wrote this in response to Scott. Okay, thank you for the cl clarification. Because I was on the fence after reading the first part with, uh, uh, here is the direct speech, no discovery schedule has been set. However, how does one justify not showing a good cause? And uh, guys, uh, definitely uh, I have the same question. How it is even possible that a uh, judge decided uh, not to... Uh, uh, disclose uh, this information because of uh, the lack of evidence. But uh, we have uh, to uh, respect this decision. On top of that, guys, take a look right here. Scott also wrote this, and uh, this is uh, related to the due diligence uh, tweet. And uh, it is related to basically misunderstanding of some of details uh, of uh, uh, his uh, lawsuit. And I have to say that, guys, Definitely, I am not a lawyer, I am not an attorney, and it is very difficult for me to understand the language uh, on the one hand, uh, and to understand uh, the main idea of uh, these documents. But at the same time, guys, uh, if you also don't understand these documents uh, in uh, their entirety, just rely on the people who understand them and uh, who can explain it to you. 
And let me show you the explanation of Scott. Andrew Yagani is apparently speaking his usual BS uh, to his minions. He does not understand that the entire spoliation of evidence claim was against Schwab, not FINRA. FINRA was never fingered for that. My spoliation claims only are against Schwab. My motion against FINRA was uh, for expedited early discovery based on the QCIPs and uh, the NCI case uh, being pollu polluted in MMIT, TRCH and MMTLP. Apples and oranges. The motion for XLD was designed to see if uh, we could preserve the blue sheets before any FINRA treasury and to get them uh, to the core. It has zero to do with arbitration. That should end it. And uh, yes, I think uh, Scott uh, is crystal clear with his intention what uh, he is about to do. And uh, he uh, diversified these uh, two parts of uh, his uh, lawsuit. At the same time, guys, as I already mentioned, we have to rely on his uh, uh, lawsuit because uh, for now we don't have uh, a lot of uh, cards on the table that might help us to win this game. And uh, let me show you uh, uh, what do we have right now. Uh, definitely the most important news for now is uh, the election results. And guys, uh, uh, for now I have to say that uh, these results uh, might uh, be disclosed uh, within next uh, week. Uh, let me show you how it uh, happened uh, back uh, in uh, 2016 and 2020. So when the have previous uh, presidential election results been announced? The 2020 election took place on Tuesday, November the 3rd. However, US TV networks did not declare Joe Biden the winner until late morning on Saturday, uh, November the 7th, after the result in Pennsylvania became clearer. In other recent elections, voters had a much shorter wait. In 2016, when Trump won the presidency, he was declared the winner shortly before 3, e uh, 3 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, it is uh, 8 a.m. GMT the day after the election. In 2012, uh, when Barack Obama secured the second term, his victory was projected before midnight on polling day itself. And guys, I have to say that uh, we will have a lot of turbulence on the markets and uh, why it is uh, so important for us uh, to see the results. And here is why. Donald Trump, uh, in one of his meetings, declared the following. He stated that he will fire Gary Gensler on day one if he becomes president of the United States. And guys, if uh, this happens, and for now I have to admit that uh, uh, even bookmakers think that Donald Trump uh, will win uh, this race. And uh, in this case, uh, he has to act. On top of uh, this statement uh, that he will fire Gary Gensler, we also have this letter that was written uh, by Devin Nunes, and uh, as you can see, it was uh, addressed to the Honorable Jim Jordan, Chairman Committee of the Judiciary, uh, U.S. House of Representatives, the Honorable Jason Smith, Chairman Committee on Ways and Means, U.S. House of Representatives, the Honorable Patrick McHenry, Chairman Committee on Financial Services, U.S. House of Representatives, and uh, the Honorable uh, James Comer, Chairman Committee on Oversight and Reform, U.S. House of Representatives. And uh, the main uh, case, uh, the main uh, idea of this letter that was written on April 23rd of this year is that uh, DJT was uh, the target of short sellers. On top of that, right here, uh, he mentioned, uh, he attached uh, the letter signed by 74 members of Congress uh, related to the case of MMTLP SAG. And he even added uh, this uh, letter in its entirety with all of the signatures. And that is why, guys, uh, right after the results is announced, we have to see some kind of actions from Donald Trump and his team in regards to the regulations on the US stock market. Definitely, it will not happen uh, uh, overnight and uh, it might take uh, quite a while, but definitely he has uh, to uh, make some reaction uh, on the case. On top of that, guys, take a look right here. This is uh, the letter that was written on September 26th of uh, last year, and that was uh, signed by J.D. Vance. And J.D. Vance, uh, if uh, Trump wins this uh, election, uh, he will be uh, a vice president of the United States of America. And he signed the letter that uh, was addressed to Gary Gensler, and that uh, was related, and that is related to MMTLP saga. That is why, guys, uh, we have uh, at least two cards from this side in our favor. 
On top of that, guys, let me remind you that George Palikers just recently announced that Wes Christian will file a lawsuit. And let me show you that uh, this uh, is quite promising, uh, potential promising uh, uh, case. Because uh, let me show you uh, the exhibition A uh, details. Significant impact on shareholders. The target defendants' uh, manipulation of MM MMAT and TRCH shares not only harmed the company, but also caused significant financial losses for shareholders, with the majority of uh, the 65,000 plus shareholders being retail investors. The litigation will seek to recover damages on behalf of the estate, but potentially will also provide recovery for the shareholders who were directly impacted by the fraudulent market activity. And let me show you this paragraph. Um, a successful litigation outcome could result uh, in tens of millions of dollars in recovery, providing much-needed funds uh, to the estate, creditors and equity holders. And uh, guys, I have to admit that uh, yes, uh, we still have a lot of chances to win this battle, but uh, the main, the main uh, goal for us is to see the resolution. And uh, uh, all of the fights that are happening inside the community, are not helping us at all. And uh, that is why, guys, please put aside every type of uh, misunderstandings, every type of uh, allegations on community members, because it will not uh, give us a resolution. So, let me show you another couple of tweets uh, from Mark Basile, and he wrote it uh, just several hours ago on 8, uh, at 8.26 p.m. on November the 4th, and uh, it is uh, the... Uh, Central European time and uh, two minutes later. Unfortunately, guys, I don't know what uh, uh, was the main topic of these uh, tweets because uh, it, they were written by Roman Soups and Roman Soups, uh, for some reasons, uh, protected his uh, Twitter account and that is why I cannot see the details of uh, this conversation. But let me show you, let me quote to these two paragraphs. And that's the problem with emotionally charged people. I didn't say that. I just presented facts. Now, if they would like uh, to see the proof of what I actually said is real, I'm sure someone can easily find it and post it. I know some disinformation weaponizing people in the community found our, our firm's discourse with uh, that law firm on regulatory reform to help all retail shareholders. But they glossed over the actual facts uh, of what was said. But that's typical in the community. And he also added this. Actually, I think everything is on the table. Even the way out uh, there stuff, uh, uh, we don't know exactly what happened after 690 days. But since she has that evidence, uh, Scott can issue a subpoena and get that if uh, it would help in his case. So guys, if you, if you know what uh, is he talking about, who is she who has that evidence, what evidence... Uh, does she have and uh in general what is the main idea of this conversation please uh, drop me a line in the comment section uh, or let me know uh, just sending me uh, the screenshots of these uh, uh tweets and guys let me tell you my personal story i have a wife and two children aged 11 and uh, 15 as well as a small dog after 30 years of living in russia near the Baikal lake we decided to move. Now we reside in Serbia. Although I don't own any MMTLP shares, I invest a lot of time creating daily MMTLP videos. I have been doing this every day without days off and holidays for more than one and a half years. Now I wish to buy back this time from my family, from my children. We've agreed that I will ask the MMTLP community to support me and I will give all the money to the children. Therefore, if you believe that I am providing useful content for you and uh, wish to support me, you can join my Patreon account. For $5 a month, I will add your name to my list of supporters if you wish. Thank you in advance. The link you can find in the description below. So, I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap, only God wants you